So this is yes a, a screenshot of the workplace app version four. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty similar, pretty close to the uh, workplace mobile, uh, you know, uh, web app version or small screen version. Uh, there is a link that you can open using your Chrome browser to check it, uh, but you will need to launch your Chrome browser with a special flags to disable all the security restrictions that prevents uh, the web app to work. Uh, this is documented, and I will share the link later because, uh, well, I will include the link in the presentation later. So you can play with the uh, workplace yeah, demo. You can go to the next one. So this is the catch priority review is just yes, a screenshot because there is nothing much to say. Everything is happening in the background. And what we are trying to do in, in the app is to improve the user experience, trying to load very quickly, very fast, the main and most important screens, like the My Courses one, that is usually the first one that a user sees when uh, he opens the app, uh, when they open the app, sorry. Um, and basically what is happening is that we are trying to use the catch to display everything and in the background we are updating the information and if we notice that there is some key information that is missing in that screen maybe a course name change or something like that we will display this refresh button this is something that for example if you are using google news they use they do it frequently and other apps do frequently and um, we don't feel that this refresh button is going to be displayed very frequently for the final user. Most of the time, they won't see it. So we are improving the experience because everything is going to, you know, load faster for them. And when using a mobile application, that's the most important thing for them to be used. Op open it, they see everything, and they can start working on, on, on their courses. Can move? So contact site support. This is a nice and interesting one that uh, you know that uh, we receive a lot of support inquiries uh, from people that I forgot my password, I cannot log in, this kind of stuff that they don't know that they need to contact their site support and not uh, Moodle as a company. So we implemented this in a way that if we detect that they are having problems with the password, I think it's the third time they try they try to enter their password. Um, you will see this warning. Okay, we notice that you are having problems trying to log in to the site. Why don't you contact your site support? And implicitly, we are saying, please do, do not contact us because we don't have any, uh, we, we are not going to be able to help. So, this is the way we implemented it to try to help them, to guide them, uh, to contact site support. Uh, this is also happening when they are trying to recover their password and they are not being able to, they are trying like the second time they try because the first time they didn't receive the email or they don't even know how to recover their password. We are doing the same. We are encouraging them to contact their site support. 